Hello friends, I am back again with a new topic and the topic is tips on how to make your handwriting neat and legible. So let's begin. I have one thought for all of you. The thought is handwriting determines your dream. How beautiful your dream is, so is your handwriting. I have one more thought for all of you. The people who think that their handwriting is bad and the thought is more intelligent people tend to think faster and as a result their handwriting is more sloppy because they write very fast that's why their handwriting becomes more sloppy. So yeah I have for you all of you 7 basic tips on how to improve your handwriting. So let's begin with our first tip. The first tip is very simple. The tip is use a nice pen. Now I will tell you one trick. Now how to take a nice pen which suits you. And the trick is to keep three pens in front of you. Three pens means one ball pen, one gel pen and one ink pen if you want. So keep these three pens in front of you and write the same handwriting with all each pen with all the three pens and same handwriting means same lines or same paragraphs from the th three each pens and then see from which pen your handwriting is more beautiful is your is your pages being torn from any sides and choose the pen which you like so i hope you know the how to hold the pen in a proper way if you don't know, our tip number 2 is based on that. Now, you all of you have the habit to keep the pen in your hand like this. Okay, but this is a wrong way. You don't have to take your middle finger. Okay, you just have to take your thumb and then index finger. So, now I will show you the correct way. To how to hold the pen as you can see this is the correct way to hold the pen the thumb and then index finger so let's move to our tip number three and our tip number three is maintain a relaxed grip you know you all put so much pressure while writing because of that even your page can be torn okay so don't put so much effort maintain a relaxed grip as i told you in tip, tip, tip number two how to hold the pen thumb and an index finger so let's move to our tip number four our tip number four is the main tip okay just pay attention it is experiment with paper rotations now what do you mean by experiment with paper rotations you all hold your paper in 180 degree okay you all hold your paper in 180 degree but this is a wrong way you have to hold your paper in 90 degree or either in 45 degree the best way is to hold your paper in 45 degree now why don't hold your paper in 180 degree the reason is when you hold your paper in 180 degree even your hand moves in that 180 degree so then your hand pains so hold the paper in 140 uh, in 45 degree yeah so let's move to our tip number five so our tip number five says that embrace your personal style now what do you mean by the word embrace Embrace means you all know the handwriting cursive or capital. So you can take out any handwriting you wish. But maintain that handwriting in that particular page. Or you can use the calligraphy for some headings or for examples like diagrams and all. So embrace. Embrace your personal style in writing. Okay. So now our tip number six is practice with air writing now you all have the habit to tell your speech in front of the mirror i think so because i have so even like that you should have the practice of air writing 
Now, what is the connection between speech and air writing? I will tell you. Speech means your pronunciations improve when you see yourself in front of mirror. And in air writing, when you write in the air or yeah, in the air, so your hand will move in that manner, in that degree. So, practice with air writing. Now, I will tell you an example of mine, how I am practicing in air writing. Now, as you can see, I am writing in the air. So, same way even you have to write in the air. So, our last and the last tip is practice when you can. Whenever you get the free time, you have to practice. Now, I know all the people, uh, what they do is, if they want to write something main important like the list, they write in the mobile. So, you should not do like this. You should note each and every point in your notebook and some people have the habit to write how their day spends so even that is a very nice habit so even you can do that so practice when you can and thank you friends for seeing my video please subscribe like and share with your friends and hope i will meet you soon bye bye hope you enjoy